in all reality, there's probably only two guys that the NBA MVP comes down to right now. And it's probably Shea Gildish Alexander and Nikola Jokic. But really, who's going to win it? It should be Nikola Jokic. Now, at the end of the day, before I even get to why Jokic is the winner and is going to be the winner and what historical category it's going to put him in, I would like to mention Shea Gildress Alexander is going to win an MVP award in his career, and it's probably coming in the next year or two. But it's pretty crazy to see what he's done. At 24 years old last year, he averaged 31.4 points per game with... 4.8 4.8 rebounds and 5.5 assists and a steal and a half and one full block. He was fifth in MVP voting, first team All NBA, All Star, um, number two and most improved player of the year. And then this year he's doing even better. He's at 31.2 points per game, also at a block, 2.1 steals per game, six and a half assists, 5.6 rebounds. The man is playing amazing. 88% from the free throw line he's shooting 54 percent overall almost 40 percent 39.2 he's almost going to be at the 50 40 90 club he's like super duper close a couple good games at the end of the year can get him over the hump if he has like a good eight nine game stretch he will be an mvp in the next two to three years it could be next year the year after whatever it may be as long as he stays healthy and the thunder continue to grow the way they do but unfortunately for him and thunder fans it's not his year and the odds are kind of showing that at at one point it was a lot closer if you look at early january um i'm i'm looking here on january 18th even the betting odds had shea at plus 280 and Jokic was slightly ahead of him at plus 220 right now when you look at it shea's at plus 218 Jokic is at minus 146. He's a he's he's probably at a solid, you know, I would say he's probably now at a solid 70% chance to win it if all things just stay the same. Unless there's a catastrophic injury by somebody, knock on wood, or awful stretch of play by somebody. It's either gonna take Shea or maybe even Lucas next up at plus 442, which is he's not even close. I mean, after that's Giannis at plus 1933 and Tatum at plus 3600. Luca or Shea would have to go on like a 10 game, 40 plus point a game stretch with like a eight, nine game winning streak. You know, like one of those insane tears that you don't see very often. Otherwise, Nikola Jokic is looking like he's going to be the MVP. And before I even get into just some of the numbers, because it's simple, we know how good his numbers are. I want to talk about what status this is going to put him in. Currently, he's on a list of, what is that? Three, six, seven guys who have two MVPs in their career. It's Nikola Jokic, Giannis. These both happened recently. Steve Nash, Stephen Curry, Tim Duncan, Carl Malone, and Bob Pettit all have two MVPs. He is going to win a third one, probably right now this year. And that third one is going to put him in the conversation with Moses Malone, Larry Bird, and Magic Johnson. And then Nicole Jokic. He'll be one of four players ever. Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Moses Malone, and Nicole Jokic to make to win three MVPs in their career. And then he is one away from being with Wilton LeBron. And then obviously after that at five is Jordan and Russell and then Kareem at six. He's not going to get there because there's voter fatigue these days. And I just don't know if he's going to, you know, he's not going to end up getting four more probably right now. But I do think there's a very realistic possibility that after he wins this one, he's going to be a couple. He has a three, four year window here where he might get to four and join LeBron and Wilt and maybe even five, maybe where he can join Jordan and Bill Russell. But right now, even at three, Moses Bird in Magic, Jokic is bringing himself to very, very elite, not very, you know, expectable territory. Now, and you rarely see somebody win three in four years. You rarely see three in a row. I don't think it's happened since Bird. It hasn't actually. But you don't really see three in four years. It went, obviously, Giannis, Giannis, Jokic, Jokic, and Bede. The last one to win three in four years was LeBron James 
He actually won four in five years. He went LeBron, LeBron, Rose, LeBron, LeBron. Um, so that's, you know, this, which is, could be kind of one of Jokic's territories right now, kind of like that LeBron territory where somebody won in between him and he wins the next two again. But before that, to see three in a four-year stretch, I don't think happened. Not even Michael Jordan. He had two in a four-year stretch. He had two, three out of six years. Let's see, one, and then there's two from, yeah, he never had three in four years. He had three in five years, but never three in four years. Bird did three in a row. And then you had Kareem, who got three in four years. Wilt got three in a row. Bill Russell got three in a row. So the only people that have ever done this three in a row or three out of four was Bill Russell, Wilt Chamberlain, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Larry Bird, LeBron James, and Nicole Jokic. It's another just sign of the dominance for how many he's going to win in an amount of time is just showing how good he really is and where he's going to be in the history books. And on top of it all, obviously he's coming off of a finals MVP, an NBA championship run, which helps boost the narrative. But on top of that, right now the Denver Nuggets have won five games in a row. They're 41 and 19. And they're right there. They're half a game behind the Thunder and one game behind Minnesota for the number one seed in the NBA. On top of it, they're number two defense points per game. They're one behind the Timber or they're the Timberwolves are 106 points per game. Defensively, they're at 110. And uh they're just, you know, stopping other teams. They are winning games. And they're only one spot, like I said, one game out of first place and then there's Jokic's stats when I read you these stats I read you Shea Gildress Alexander stats read these Jokic has only gotten better okay he won the MVP if you just go through his awards it's insane he was like the fourth in MVP ninth in MVP first first second and then probably gonna be first this year and there was first team all NBA second team first team first team second team uh, last year because uh, Embiid got first team and won MVP. And then this year he's going to be first team again with the MVP. So he is a six-time All-Star, five-time All-NBA, two-time MVP, obviously the finals MVP and finals champion. And for example, right now he's averaging 25 points per game, 12.3 rebounds, and 9.3 assists. In his first MVP season, he averaged 26.4, 10.8 rebounds, 8.3 assists. Second MVP season, he had 27.1, 11 rebounds. No, sorry, 13.8 rebounds and 8 assists. This year's rebounds are a tiny bit down, but his assists are up. 25.8, 12.3 rebounds, and 9.3 assists. And this is all while shooting. Where was it? I just lost it. It's all while shooting 58% from the field goal range. 10 shot or 17 shots a game, making 10 of them. 81% from the free throw line for a seven footer. Jokic has been very hard to stop and no one's stopping him. And I don't think this MVP conversation is stopping anytime soon. Welcome to, to the club of three out of four years. Nikola Jokic, MVP.